Hello everyone, I'm Heather Dawson and welcome to our special Thanksgiving episode of California Life. Well, tis the season to pack on the pounds. Studies show the average Thanksgiving meal contains more than 3,000 calories, kicking off a holiday feeding frenzy that is estimated to pack some 305 million pounds onto the national waistline by New Year's Eve. Well, if you want to give thanks this Thanksgiving, check out Volunteer Match or the app GiveGab to find ways to get involved based on your availability, including delivering meals to people in need with Meals on Wheels, serving dinner at homeless shelter, or running in a turkey trot. <laughs> Food Network star Ted Allen is encouraging families to host Friendsgiving to help end childhood hunger. Here's the details. When you can't be with family at Thanksgiving, you can celebrate Friendsgiving instead. And in the spirit of Friendsgiving, a charity campaign encourages people to share a bit of their good fortune. A benefit for NoKidHungry.org. Most, most people may not know this, but one in six American kids struggles with hunger issues. Even a small donation can be a big help for a hungry child. Just one dollar can create up to 10 meals uh, for, for an American kid. So it doesn't, it's, this, this is not a big bucks fundraiser necessarily. This is something that anybody can, can participate in uh, and have a meaningful impact on, on hunger in America. The campaign is working to raise awareness because hunger is an invisible problem in this country. You can't see hunger uh, among people or children, um, but it exists and it affects their, their body and their brain in profound ways. Visit NoKidHungry.org slash Friendsgiving to learn how to host your own charitable Friendsgiving event. And coming up next, we have the best of entertainment with all the holiday movies headed to the box office and streaming. Plus, we've got all the food festivities and the best holiday gift guide. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. And lifestyle expert is back with a few holiday recipes your friends and family will love. Let's check it out. The holiday season is here, and the festivities are around the corner. There is one thing we should all remember, especially now. This is all about you, because you can't take care of everyone else's holiday season if you aren't feeling your best. Feeling your best begins with self-care, from exercising to sitting fireside, or enjoying healthy holiday snacks to stay on track. Incorporate probiotics to stay on track this holiday season. I really like Kavita's light and refreshing sparkling probiotic drinks because they're a delicious alternative to cocktails and other holiday drinks. Plus, they contain billions of live probiotics in every single bottle. Here is a fun holiday recipe for you called the Lemon Ginger Merry Mocktail featuring Kavita's Lemon Ginger Sparkling Probiotic Drink. It contains a pomegranate juice and lemon and ginger, kind of to rejuvenate your taste buds with that refreshing taste of lemon and ginger. You can find this delicious mocktail recipe and more at Kavita.com. The National Tour of Hairspray the Musical hits the road again with its first stop, the San Diego Civic Theater. And I am thrilled to be talking with Nikki Metcalf, the newest star to fill the role of Tracy Turnblatt in this award-winning musical. You're wrapping up rehearsals with the entire cast and you're heading out on tour. How excited are you to be coming to California, specifically San Diego? Oh my gosh, I am beyond excited. I am still pinching myself every day, if you can believe it. And I'm just so ready to share this message of love and joy and acceptance across the country, but especially to be starting in San Diego at the Civic Theater. Now, there are a ton of memorable moments in Hairspray. What's your favorite? My favorite moment, oh my gosh, it's so hard to pick just one. Coming out in Welcome to the 60s is the first one that comes to my mind. Um, me and Edna, played by Andrew Levitt, who is incredible by the way. <laughs> we have this whole transformation at Mr. Pinky's, and we come out in these beautiful matching mommy and me gowns. It, it was that one of those moments that I'm like, wow, this is real. I'm really getting to do this dream role in this dream show. Okay, so speaking of Andrew, um, are you a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race? And what is it like to work with the Nina West? I love RuPaul's Drag Race. Andrew is such an incredible, warm human being. I just feel very, very grateful to have him as a friend. But Andrew Levin <laughs> isn't the only reality star turned musical star in your yeah. show. You also have Tanisha Harris from NBC's The Voice. You have to tell me, what are rehearsals like with her? 
Oh my gosh, are you in for a treat if you come and buy tickets to this show? I just feel so lucky to be in any room that she's in. Nikki, I'm so excited for you and your talented cast to be once again doing what you love and sharing your talent with all of us. I can't wait to see you up on that stage. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just excited to get on the road in general. I guess if there's one thing we've learned over the past several months, it's that you might be able to slow it down, but you certainly can't stop the beat. To find out where Hairspray is coming to a city near you, go to hairspraytour.com. I'm Will Armstrong celebrating all things theatrical here in California. And coming up, a new holiday survey reveals some surprising secrets surrounding the season, plus all the best tech gifts for the holidays, and we've got the top holiday movies. All this and more when we come back. Don't go away. From big budget blockbusters to long awaited sequels, lots of new movies are set to hit theaters this holiday. Here are just a few of the highlights. Angelina Jolie returns to the big screen and reprises her role as Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. If you're a car buff, Ford versus Ferrari is a must see about the historic race in Le Mans, France with Matt Damon and Christian Bale. Last Christmas features the music of the late George Michael, including a few new unreleased songs and set in London for the most wonderful time of the year. One of my personal favorites coming out for the holidays features Anna Kendrick as Santa Claus's daughter, Noelle. Also set to hit theaters and on Disney's new streaming channel is Disney's live action remake of the classic film, Lady and the Tramp. Well, Frozen took the holidays by storm in 2013, and now six years later, the sequel Frozen 2 will be out in theaters just in time for Thanksgiving. Well, who doesn't love Dolly? Dolly Parton's Heartstrings is coming to Netflix with eight new Dolly songs, plus her inspiration behind her most beloved songs with an award-winning cast including Kathleen Turner and Julianne Hough. Remember, you can also check out all your favorites online, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. It was the night before Christmas vacation. Max? And the fun was in full swing. You have split our family onto two separate flights. Mom! Max, please! The family left for their big vacation. Is that everyone? The cars are leaving now! But forgot one little thing. Mom? Dad? Young Max finds himself in a precarious position and he's going to have to figure out how to stay safe home alone. His first adventure in solitude goes well, but there's trouble brewing right outside the door. The McKenzie family thinks Max took a valuable doll from their home and they need to get it back now. I can't go to jail, honey. I wouldn't last 30 seconds in Gen Pop. Gen Pop? General population. It's where fresh fish get got. Jeff, I need you to focus. Nobody here is getting got. The only thing getting got is that doll. So let's go get it. Can you unlock the door? Yeah. Of course, slapstick antics ensue as Max invents a variety of creative ways to fend off the Mackenzies. And mom tries desperately to get back home. I'm trying to get home to my son. Young Archie Yates takes on the role of Max in this reboot and does a good job carrying out his mission to protect the homestead. Ellie Kemper and Rob Delaney are two of my favorite comic actors, but sometimes it's difficult to see where the line is as they fluctuate between being good people desperate enough to do a bad thing and the bad actions themselves. The only thing better than curling up and watching a scary movie on TV is to stream a scary series. That's right, we can all agree that there's nothing more satisfying than smashing that play next episode button when your show leaves you on a cliffhanger. So get this, if you're looking for thrills, twists, and an unexpected surprise, then you need to check out Amazon Prime's new series, I Know What You Did Last Summer. I don't mind telling you I'm obsessed and to make things even better, I get to talk with one of the stars right now. Fiona Renee, welcome to California Life and congratulations on the show. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me. I have to tell you, I've been watching the show and uh, just wow, from Jane the Virgin to Grey's Anatomy to Stumptown to now I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's amazing to watch you on TV, but I'm just so curious, what's the best part about working in film and television? 
by far the community because we all have the same goal, which is making the best story possible. And then over the years, you know, you meet someone that I worked with on Jane the Virgin. Three years later, you work with them on another show. So it's really like a big family over your whole life. As I was saying, I'm a huge fan of the show, and it's safe to say it's not for the faint of heart. Um, the fact that you're on Amazon Prime, uh, you and your cast get to tackle topics and address situations that we don't normally get to see on regular television. I imagine it must be pretty liberating to have that kind of freedom. Oh, yeah. I mean, going from um, a sex scene with Mike Ely on Stumptown, which is ABC Network, you know, you get a, you get a little bit of rough housing, maybe a <laughs> kiss or two, but then, like, cut to... Right. Uh, to Amazon, which is like, you ripped your shows off. Are you going to show a nipple? And I'm like, no. <laughs> In the show, you play the town sheriff, which basically you're working the case and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Can you tell us about your character and what you did to prepare for the role? So I technically play the police chief because okay. sheriffs don't deal with, unlike on the mainland, homicides. I was knocking on doors at the police station, being like, who can I talk to? Give me a liaison. Their media department was so helpful. They put me in touch with a woman who uh, was a retired police captain uh, and she had a lot of years in the force. Um, and she was like my liaison the whole time. You have so many talents in front and behind the camera and uh, you're also a voiceover artist. And if I'm not mistaken, you're working on a new project with uh, the indie pop band OFK. We Are OFK is a band and as you play the game and as you're immersed in the game, you get to unlock music videos and you get to see like the progression of like these, this group of 20 somethings just trying to like make a name for themselves in LA, which is literally everybody out here <laughs> so you know uh it was fun the, the team the crew on that oh i mean talk about family like i still get lunch with everyone fiona you are a delight and such a talent and we at california life wish you continued success in hollywood and beyond until next time i'm will armstrong celebrating all things entertainment here in california The kickoff to the holiday shopping season is about to begin. So what should be on your list? Connected mom and tech expert Carly Noblock connects us with some of her top tech gift ideas, starting with a cool smart home gift. Well, how about a robot that cleans up after you like the Ecovax D-Bot N8 Pro Plus. It's both a vacuuming and a mopping robot that uses laser mapping so it doesn't miss a spot, and object detection to move around your home without getting stuck, and it has powerful suction to make sure that no dust bunny is left behind. It even empties its own dustbin, which is so great for busy families. It's normally $7.99 on Amazon, but it's 30% off now for the holidays. And when it comes to practical tech gifts, Carly has a couple of great ideas. You know, laptops make amazing gifts and the experts at Best Buy can help you find the perfect one for everyone on your list like this HP 11 inch touchscreen Chromebook that I have here, it's $599. It's got amazing productivity thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, as well as a long battery life and super fast connectivity. It's lightweight and perfect for people on the go. Plus you can detach the keyboard and use it as a tablet and write on it with the rechargeable pen as well. And then every family, needs a reliable printer, especially one with school-age kids, the Epson EcoTank ET2850 all-in-one cartridge-free super tank printer comes with up to two years of ink in the box. It's ready to print book reports, essays, family schedules, or even holiday decorations. Plus, you can save up to 90% with replacement ink bottles instead of those traditional ink cartridges. It's also voice activated and wireless, so you can truly print from anywhere, and it's just $299.99. And let's end with a couple of gifts for the gaming and audio fans. Yes, you know, if you have any gamers on your list that are Sonic fans, they're gonna love Sonic Colors Ultimate, which makes a great holiday gift. It's a new spin on the beloved 2010 game featuring 4K visuals, a new rival rush mode, and more. It's basically the ultimate Sonic experience on current generation platforms. It's just $39.99, and it's available for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and a digital-only release for PCs in the Epic Games 
store. And then for anyone who wants a little more from their headphones, this is the THX Onyx, and it gives you studio sound audio quality to enjoy your music, streaming, or games from your laptop or smartphone. You just plug it into your three and a half millimeter headphones for high fidelity sound with no drivers or software required. Plus it has ultra low distortion and five times more output power than other amplifiers. And it has mic support too. It's a great deal now at amazon.com for $149 through Black Friday and Cyber Monday. The Connected Mom, tech lifestyle expert, Carly Noblock, bringing you the best of California. I'm David Wiley for California Life. As the COVID-19 pandemic overwhelmed the world, physicians struggled to learn more about how to treat the virus. The world needed faster answers and clearer guidance. Seattle startup Truveta has been working on a solution and it just may be the future of healthcare. Truveta is an unprecedented data platform of U.S. health. Truveta allows healthcare providers to glean important medical developments in real time. It's such an incredible opportunity for doctors and medical researchers to be able to learn in real time using the best data that's representative of all of America and all demographics. So those doctors are able to search for information with real time insights that is pulled from real clinical data infused with expert analysis for them to be able to advance patient care and help find cures faster. And Lisa says the Truveta platform is already revealing factors relating to COVID breakthrough cases, that is cases after someone's been vaccinated. Using this platform, we've been able to find new insights on COVID-19 in America for the first time. For people with breakthrough cases of COVID-19, we're finding that those folks are hospitalized 9 to 15 percent of the time with those taking the moderna and pfizer vaccine being hospitalized nine percent of the time and those taking the johnson and johnson vaccine being hospitalized 15 percent of the time and those with high-risk medical conditions like cancer being hospitalized twice as frequently and by learning more truveta could have a major effect on the future of healthcare. We believe there's so much opportunity to advance healthcare in this country and around the world. With faster knowledge will come faster insights, which will help us better take care of patients as well as find faster cures for conditions ranging from cancer to Parkinson's disease to multiple sclerosis and rare conditions. This opportunity to learn uh, about patients to get quicker insights is such a tremendous opportunity for our country. My journey is that I have uh, three children. My youngest has a range of special needs. She was born with a chromosomal syndrome, a neurological condition, and epilepsy. And even though we live in Seattle with some of the best care in the United States, it took us 13 years to get the diagnosis of her chromosomal syndrome because it's rare. It also took us many years to find the right medication to treat her seizures. I think if the Truveta platform had existed, those doctors would have been able to find her diagnosis far earlier. We could have found the right medication mix far earlier and her path would have been much easier as well as the rest of my family. And Truveta has the potential to help many others. To learn more about Truveta, go to truveta.com. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life. And that's it for us. If you missed any part of our special Thanksgiving episode, please go to our website, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. Watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media, like our blogs on Facebook. Follow our tweets on Twitter. And check out our posts on Instagram and Pinterest, where we bring you the best of California.